This is a tutorial on how to install Proxmox and Home Assistant on a mini PC. Go to Proxmox website and download the ESO image. Prepare a USB device and fire up Rufus. We will create a Proxmox installer boot disk. Find the ESO image. Warning, this will delete everything on your USB stick. This is a speeded widow. Boot e USB is ready. Plug it in your mini PC. Start your server. Find the boot menu. Select your USB disk. Let's install Proxmox. Select I agree, or you can read it and then select I agree. Here you select the hard drive on which the Proxmox will be installed. Select your country, time zone and keyboard layout. Set the desired password, if you forget it, you won't get it back. And type in your email. As a management interface, select the wired Ethernet card, not the Wi-Fi one. It's not recommended to run Proxmox on Wi-Fi. Enter hostname. Here you can type in whatever you want. Select the desired IP of this Proxmox machine. Here's the summary of your settings. Click Install. Wait for the installation to complete. Mine took around 3 minutes. Here we have it. The installation is successful. Proxmox is now rebooting. When you see the login prompt, everything is ready. You can now go on the second computer and type in the Proxmox IP. Username is root and the password is the one that you choose during the installation. Don't worry, this is not the trial version. Proxmox is free. Let's install Home Assistant using a simple script. Go to Google and type in Proxmox scripts. We'll be installing 
Home Assistant on a separate virtual machine. Copy this line. Go to your Proxmos shell and paste this code. The default settings for this script for Home Assistant is 4GB of RAM and 32GB of storage. This is all it takes to install Home Assistant in virtual machine in Proxmox. Here's your virtual machine with Home Assistant. That's the default IP address. Home Assistant is finalizing the installation. After 20 minutes everything is done. I will restore my previous backup. If you want, you can create Home Assistant environment from scratch. Currently this virtual machine is using around 4 GB of RAM. If you wish you can assign more RAM to it. After around 30 minutes, my home assistant is restored. Here I'm changing the IP address of home assistant. I wish to be the same as it was on my Raspberry Pi 4. Reboot the virtual machine. Now the Home Assistant is reachable at this IP.